this is Kendra Crow, your instructor for Literature 100, and this is the second part of the Milestone 3 series um, of, of videos that I'm doing. This is formatting your paper to MLA style and including MLA citations. So um, if you haven't seen part one of this video series, please go back and view that. That shows how you will be taking your um, outline and creating a final paper. This is taking that paper that we created in that first video and formatting it so that it's ready to be published um, in week seven. So I will um, begin here by pulling up the document that we created <clears throat> in the last video series. So this is everything that I had um, written in the last video series. I took what I had written in my outline and I created a pair into paragraph form, um, beginning with my introduction and ending with my concluding paragraph down here. So this is what we created in that last video. Um, I'm going to take that exact thing and I'm going to make it into MLA style and put in my citation. I'm going to begin with the formatting <clears throat> and I want to show you first, I'm here at the Purdue OWL website. This is a great resource for everything MLA style. And I'm gonna to go to, I'm in the MLA area, the MLA style formatting and style guide. And I go right up to the very top, it's called MLA general format. And that's where I'm gonna see my overall formatting. So this is the paper format, general guidelines, etc. So a couple things I wanna show you here, it should be double spaced, 12 point. Um, you have a header, no, not a title page. Um, and um, you have a uh, title that, which is um, centered at the top and things like that. So here is an example. It kind of shows you what, what it's supposed to look like at the end. And so we'll, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and make it look just like this for my um, paper that I've already written here. So I'm gonna begin with um, putting my header. So I'm gonna space down a couple here and I'm gonna write my header. It begins with my name, okay? And then I'm gonna write my instructor's name, so. Okay, then I'm gonna write the, the course, which is Lit 100, and then the date. And I'm gonna write, so 9 October 2023. That's today's date for me. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's the first thing. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up here in the header area, I'm going to put the page number. So this is Google Docs, as I had said in the last video. If you just double click up here in the header area, you can, uh, this kind of shows up here. So um, I'm going to go to options, page number. So I'm going to have it in the header. I'm going to start with one and I am going to show it on the first page. You can show it on the first page or you don't have to show it on the first page, but I'm going to go ahead and show it on the first page. I'm going to hit apply. There it is. And I'm going to put it over here in the right hand corner. Whoops. Is that what I wanted to do? Um, here, I'm going to justify it to the right and I'm going to put my name on it as well. So I'm going to, my last name. So crow one. So now it's up here in the header. If you look to the next page, it says Crow 2, et cetera, for as many pages as I have here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to page down or enter down, and I'm going to write my title. And my title should be centered. So I'm going to go ahead, put it in the center, and I'm going to give it a title. And the title should be uh, content related, not final paper for Lit 100. It should relate to the content. So since mine is about loss of innocence in Araby, I'm just going to write loss of innocence in Araby. So there it is. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to make sure it's uh, the way I want it to look. So I'm, I don't like the text color. It should be black. Okay. So I'm going to hit black there. It said in my Purdue OWL, I need it 12 point. So I'm gonna have it 12 point. And Times New Roman is typically how um, it should be formatted. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that there. Um, this header actually should be Times New Roman as well. 
and it should be 12. So make sure that that is matching. Okay, so that's that. Next thing I see from my Purdue Owl is it should be double spaced. Everything should be double spaced here. So I'm gonna go back to my document and I am going to just highlight the whole thing. And I'm gonna go up to my spacing and I'm gonna hit double space. So there we go. All right, so the next thing I need to do then is to format my paragraphs. So my paragraphs, they should not be, extra, there should be no extra space um, between the paragraphs or between my um, title or anything like that because uh, MLA style uses indentation. So I'm gonna go ahead up here, I'm gonna hit the tab button and I have my indentation. So down here for the next paragraph, I'm gonna get rid of all these extra spaces and just hit tab. There we go. Again, I'm gonna make sure I don't have any extra spaces. Oops. And I'm gonna hit, well, it hit the tab for me. There we go. And then I'm gonna go back up here. No extra spaces, hit tab. And no extra spaces, hit tab. There. So now it's looking a lot like this format over here where we have our indentations, no extra spaces, all double spaced, et cetera. So that's how it should look. Perfect. Okay, so that takes care of our MLA style formatting. The next thing I need to do is get rid of these notations for citation and actually put in my citations. So I'm gonna begin with this one here. So um, this, particular citation begins, um, I, I have my book pulled up here. Um, so I, it, I have it highlighted here at the bottom in yellow. So it's this particular citation, this very last one. Um, so it is on, and I can see the page number 288. So I know that, so it's page 288, and the author is Joyce. It is not the editor of the textbook, it is the actual author of this particular piece. So I'm going to write Joyce and then the page number, which was, and I've forgotten, 288. So 288. Done. That in-text citation is complete. I'm going to go to my next one. Here it is. Um, the former tenant of our house. Where did I find that? It's right up here at the top. Former tenant of our house. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the right page, page 284. So again, I'm going to write Joyce 284, because that's the page that I got this particular quotation from. Okay, I'm going down here. Observing me, the young lady came over. Where did I get that from? Again, that's at the end here, observing me. And that is on page 288. Once again, so I'm going to write Joyce 288. There. Now I've got that citation all taken care of. Um, this last um, citation I have is actually, it's a long quote. So it, if a quote is over four lines, so I have one, two, three, four, almost five lines, that is considered a long quote. So I have to block quote that. And you can find this information, again, I'm going back over to the um, Purdue OWL page. If I go over here to quotations, and this page pulls up, talks about short quotations, which is mostly what we use, right? It's those quotations that we put right in the middle of the sentence. Um, but sometimes we have a long quotation. So here it is, long quotations. And again, when we're citing more than four lines of prose, we should use a long, a block quotation like this. So what did they do? They did not use quotation marks. They used a colon, then they indented and put their quotation. No quotation marks on this one. So I'm gonna change my long quote here. So here it is, this is my long quote. I'm gonna make this change. So instead of a period at the end here, I'm gonna put a colon. And then I'm going to enter down. I don't want that tab, but I do want 
an indent. So I'm going to go ahead and indent that section all the way to the end of my citation. This one though, I'm going to go, I'm going to enter because that is not part of my citation. And that's just going to be at the end like that. So it's going to be justified over here on the left. There's, it's not a new paragraph. So do not indent this section right here where it starts with the, that's just the end of the, oops, actually, that's just the end of the, um, this is the, the continuation of the paragraph is what I'm trying to say. So here is this quotation. I don't need quotation marks for this one. I'm going to get rid of them, but I do need a citation. So this particular quote is again at the very end here. I lingered before the stall. Again, it's on page 288. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this word citation with Joyce 288. So that is a long quotation. It is now block quoted. So um, that is how you do a block quotation. And again, that information is over in the Purdue OWL if you need that. Okay, so that takes care of all of my in-text citations. So what else do I need to do? I need to have an end citation. So I'm going to write, I'm going to just tab or enter down for a minute. And I'm going to write, oops, <clears throat> make sure I've got my formatting correct. Okay, I've got Times New Roman, black, I'm going to work cited. Okay, so that's that. And I am going to, um, I'm going to make that centered. And now I'm going to include my citation. Well, I only had one source. It was just the quote or just the book. So I am going to just do my one story for my citation. So how do I get that end citation? I'm going to go to this um, document, which is our MLA style document that I've uh, referenced in my announcements on MLA style. And I'm going to just, as, since I'm using the electronic version, I'm just going to copy this. Copy, and I'm going to plunk it in here. Okay, that's going to give me my base. I know it's not correct yet, but I am going to use that so far. Okay, so I've got it now. Times New Roman 12, and then I'm just going to make my changes. So who is my author? It is not William Faulkner, it's Joyce James. And the name of my story is not Barn Burning, it is Araby. But the rest of this stays the same, other than my page numbers. So I do have to get my page numbers and my link. So what are the page numbers? It ends on 288 and it begins on 284. So I'm gonna write 284 to 288. And then my, I need my link. So I'm just gonna go up here to the top, copy that link, and I'm gonna paste it in here. Paste. And when did I access it? I accessed it today, which is the 9th of October, 2023. Okay, now one more thing. I need a new page for this work cited. So, Right here at the end of my store, or at the end of my essay, I'm gonna go up to tools, oops, format. Where is it? Insert, there we go. Break, page break. And I click that. So now I have a break. It's on a separate page as it should be. And now my essay is perfect. I have my header, my extra header up here with the page number. I have my title, everything's double-spaced, indented, correctly formatted to 12 point, Times New Roman. Um, I have my citations in place, both in text and end citations. End citations are on the uh, last page, on a, its own page, which is correct. If I had more than one source, like let's say I had two poems, I would have both of them here under the work cited on this separate page like this. Um, but that's it. So that is how I can format my paper in MLA style. 
and that is up. This will, if you turn this in, it is correctly formatted both with citations and the MLA formatting style. Um, and then as always, please let me know if you have questions. Thank you.